welcome to another episode of GVL TV, proudly sponsored by Gagliardi Scott. Great people, great results. Okay, tonight we're down at uh, Princess Park, home of the Shep Swans, and I'm here with uh, Jaden Clark. How are you doing, Clarky? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, a million dollars. Thanks for asking. Um, we talked um, a couple of weeks ago to an earlier or a younger fellow in the club that um, also holds a, a position or a very you know, elite sort of a position um, as a vice captain of the club. Mm-hmm. Fairly young. How's that, uh, how's that all sit with you? Yeah, no, good, mate. It's good. It's good to have two um, young leaders coming up through the club and showing a bit of initiative and being able to um, mentor and sort of teach a few of the younger blokes on our team and as we do have a young side and, yeah. It's good responsibility. Excellent. Good um, in saying that then, so um, just to, there's a little bit of your back, football background in the sense of being here now at 21 years of age. Yep. Um, to be vice captain of a footy club in the GVL, I think, yep. you know, it's a, a, an unbelievable honour. So yep. just walk us through that a little. Uh, I've been here, been playing for Swans for about six or so years now since I was playing juniors and um, just got introduced to senior footy about two, three years ago and I'm um, sort of just trying to play the best footy I can and, um, yeah, just one of those things that sort of fell into place and yeah end up getting the role to be vice captain and yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been an honour to really Excellent. be part of that yeah yeah when we um you know there's some great uh you know stalwarts of the game or the club yep. um you know and uh, Robbie Orman's one that um, comes to mind who's yep. a, who's now been inducted as a um, um a legend of the of the league yeah. and yeah. um a Jared Sutherland and, yeah. and you know some of those guys have been around the club it, it must be a great honour oh it is it is having such um great um players not just for the Swans and in the league and being able to sort of follow in their footsteps and be leaders at um, our club is, yeah, really a good honour. And, yeah. yeah, really good to try and live up to their standards, but it's going to yeah. be a hard job to sort of get where they were. Big shoes to fill, but yeah. I'm sure you're up to the job. Nah, um, in saying that, who, who do you then lean on or find as a mentor? You know, being young age, yep. um, I'm sure you've got some great uh, characteristics and traits about you, but you've mm. got to, you know, do you lean on someone or do you talk to someone um, about helping you through those things? Yeah, it'd probably have to be our skipper, um, Chrissy Callan. Yep. He's always there to... Um, be lean on when you sort of need to know what's going on and if you need a bit of help with um, leading the boys and stuff like that he's always been there pretty supportive so out on the training track or during game day what are some of the things that you do as a vice captain that sort of uh, helps them along uh, uh, well just sort of captain sort of stuff it's not really just um, me Jared or Callow that really do it it's really our whole team stands up and shows a bit of initiative but yeah just if maybe the boys are down, just get a bit of encouragement, try to get us back up and um, sort of try to take, take a bit of um, ownership and try to take the game on and try to get us back in there. But, um, yeah, just, just all the little things. Excellent. We're going to make it a bit easy on you now. We're yep. going to go with a fast 10. Yep. Okay, so you up for it? Yep. Excellent. All right. Who's the biggest pretty boy in your team? Oh, I reckon it's probably Jimmy Bennett. Who goes overboard with strapping uh, the most before a game? Mitch Harfey. Loves, loves getting a bit of strap on before they... Um, for a game, game yeah. Who secretly loves Married at First Sight or The Bachelor? Jared Service. He loves it, does yeah, he? Loves it, yeah, loves it. Loves Married okay. at First Sight, one of those blokes. Who's the weirdest pre-game ritual or who has the weirdest pre-game ritual? Probably would have to be Jimmy Bennett again, playing his bangers. Who's the biggest softie at the club? Uh, I don't know about that one. There's you don't want to dog someone nah, in? Nah, I can't oh, dog okay, someone okay. in. Get stitched up. Who's the sorest loser in the team? Probably a couple of them, but um, yeah, I don't really want to single a couple out. <laughs> who has the worst white line fever? Boily. Who has the worst tattoo in the club? I don't know, I haven't really taken notice of the boys' tattoos. Who should go on A Farmer Wants a Wife next year? Probably Geordie Catusa. Geordie okay. Catusa, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, Jaden. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time. We appreciate um, giving a bit of time off the track. Best of luck with the rest nah, of the season. Thanks, mate. Thanks very Cheers. much. Thanks for joining us on GVL TV. Give us a like, subscribe to us, and we'll join you next week.